Hey, guys, another big difference between Broberg and DeHarnay, and perhaps the most important, in my opinion, is that Broberg would be expected to play his offside. Based on that alone, DeHarnay has a big advantage. Broberg should be given the same opportunity, Dunner in North Van. Well, he is, but here's the thing. Ekholm, Nurse, and Kulak are your three left defensemen. Do you think Broberg's going to beat one of them out? Like, he's not beating out Nurse and, and Ekholm. And for the last two playoff years, maybe the most consistent defender on the orders was Brett Kulak. So, now, hey, I, and that's a good problem to have. The fact that Philip Broberg isn't gifted minutes, order fans should be doing cartwheels, not complaining. Because for a decade, you watched young, and actually longer than a decade, you watch young players just be given opportunities in hope that they can handle it. Like, look at Oscar Kleppbaum and Darnell Nurse. Look the positions they got thrust into as rookies. Or even in the, they weren't ready for it, but they had no other choice. And the orders got spanked. And, you know, good for them. They learn and they improve, but it wasn't ideal. Remember, Darnell Nurse got paired that rookie year. He played most of it with Andre Sekera, who was never good at playing his offside, but they had no right defenseman, so they put him over there. And people are like, oh, Nurse is never going to be good. He's terrible. I'm like, yeah, he's playing with the left shot guy on the right side who doesn't play over there. And the team's terrible. Most guys have bad numbers on bad teams. It's just how it goes. It's like anybody who goes to Carolina, it almost doesn't matter what your name is. You're going to have good analytics. Now, does that mean suddenly you're a very good, reliable player? Or is there the way they play, lots of guys slot in there and it works. Awesome. They got a good system. It works. They're a high sh volume shot team. So, that, you know, that leads to some other numbers that benefit players analytically. But I've seen guys who struggle. They go there, and then guys who go to Carolina, and they leave some and go to somewhere else. And, oh, geez, all of a sudden, the numbers aren't there. I'm like, well, yeah, you got to take certain things into consideration. But I, uh, I'm, not, I'm not yet on, you know, downplaying Broberg or DeHarnay. I'm excited to see how both fare this year. Because here's the one thing that I – the biggest shock I would have this year, and I know water fans aren't going to like this, is that the top five defensemen basically played the same minutes that they played last year. Because the top five defensemen missed a total of two games. Health was unbelievable. That's normally not the case. Might miss 10 games, eight games, whatever it is. So I think there'll be games where both DeHarnay and Broberg will play when they're six defensemen this year. I just think it's, I hope I'm wrong, because that means there's injuries, but odds and history will tell us that's likely going to be the case.